Hey guys, uh, we have this question right here. It's asking determine the force in each member of the truss and state if the members are in the tension or compression. The first thing I would like to do is I would like to uh, write the direction of the each one. So let's begin. So for like most of them are guess because uh, sometimes we don't know. But if you find find solution, you will uh, you will know. If you get negative, you got the wrong direction. So that's how we find it out. So first say this uh, since this is acting this side I say this reaction goes upward and this one goes downward and then this one goes upward based on reaction. So if you see this one it will put the opposite direction in the opposite side. So that's how we draw. So this is going to be this side and then the reaction here is going it's gonna go this side this side and this is going downside then we have this one acting downside and this is acting upside and this also reacts in here acting upside and that's all we need to know so they are saying uh, determine the each member of the truss and state the members are in tension of course. so we have to find each so let's begin with the top ones D so let's say at uh, at D <coughs> at D total total f of x is equal to 0 so if this is equal to 0 then we can say uh, this is minus uh, 600 so acting in this uh, I take this side positive so if it's this then minus 600 then uh, we need to know this angle first let's say this is theta and if this is theta this is going to be theta too so we can calculate wherever you wherever we want wherever we want but the bigger big triangle is easy to figure it out because it has every measurements so let's say tan theta is equal to opposite of uh, uh, adjacent so it's going to be 8 I'm taking for big triangle 8 over 6 so theta is going to be tan inverse tan inverse 8 over 6 so if I find it out the angle is going to be 53.53.1 degree so that's how we find the angle now I can so for this one we have one more horizontal thing here is ed cos theta it's going to be acting positive side so it's going to be ed cos 53.1 and which is equal to those are the only horizontal force on D, I'm taking on the point D, so this is going to be equal to zero. Then, if I solve for ED, I will end up with thousand, thousand newton. And since this is positive, our assumption is our assumption is right. This is acting this uh, that the direction is right. Therefore, I can say this is uh, since if you will see, like if you see arrows. Uh, acting opposite is mean compression acting toward is mean tension so this is according to this it's compression so we have found its compression and let's move to the uh, y components so if i take y components of d it's gonna be first of all we have uh, ed sine theta it's acting upside so i it's positive ed sine theta and minus uh, minus dc dc so this this is going to be downside so if this is downside minus right so minus dc is equal to zero the total moment is zero in statics so we know the theta it's 53.1 you know if we have find the ed so if you plug it in and find the dc value it's going to be 800 newton 
and if it's positive then our direction is right therefore it's actually facing each other therefore it's a tension and then let's move to the C so at C at C I take uh, vertical components first so total vertical components is 0 0 and in C we have CB acting downside so it's going to be negative CB and we have this one C, CB and CD CD is acting upside so it's going to be positive CD is positive and those are the two two vertical forces acting on C so since this is true this is going to be equal to 0 therefore I can say CD is equal to CB and we have found CD DC and CD same thing so it's going to be CB is equal to 800 Newton since the, this is positive our assumption is right and the, the direction also right therefore it's a the, the directions are facing each other therefore it's tension then we move to we move to x components so let's say sigma f of x is 0 so we are taking at c so in c what are the horizontal ec is so horizontal and it's uh, acting in the positive direction and 900 is acting on negative direction so it's, therefore it's going to be EC minus 900 equal to 0 so we know EC is equal to 900 Newton our, since this is positive our direction is right therefore they are EC is acting the arrows are separate from each other therefore we know it's in compression Since we have this one here, then we can move to E here. So if I move to E, at E, so let's take f of x, uh, sigma f of x. So if I take sigma f of x equal to 0, so I separate this one. sigma f of x is equal to 0 then I know uh, sigma f of x is 0 here a e cos theta it's acting acting in the a e cos theta so it's acting in the positive direction a e cos theta and then we have eb eb cos theta it's also acting in the positive direction it's because if you see this is moving this side and this also moving so we take this side positive so it's going to be positive direction eb cos theta is positive direction also we have ec it's uh, it's uh, acting opposite to e therefore it's going to be negative EC and we have ED ED cos theta it's also acting negative side so we can say minus ED cos theta ED cos theta is equal to 0 right so we can form a equation here so if you plug theta for this one it's going to be 0 0.6 theta is 53.1 we found it already so 0 0.6 ae and then we have plus same thing uh, 0, 0 point 
six e b it's going to be equal to if you find we have this value say e c is here and we have found e d already so if you plug these values it's going to be thousand five hundred so this, let's say this is our equation one and let's put it in the box so we have fx components let's find the fy components i'm doing somewhere here okay let's take sigma fy this is around e don't forget because i'm doing because i don't have enough space over there i'm doing here okay then a so if you see a sine theta it's uh, acting acting in the upper direction if you see we have to see the direction on e so it's going to be up to upper side <coughs> so a e sine theta i put theta so you have to put 53.1 for that a e sine theta and we have e b e b acting downside so it's going to be negative e b sine theta and then we have uh, e d it's also acting downside so it's going to be e d sine theta minus e d sine theta is equal to zero so now i have uh, i again i can form a formula for this one it's going to be same thing. we have so we don't know ea yet we don't know eb yet but we have ed we have found it out here so we can use that here and if you solve for that it's going to be we can form an equation it's going to be uh, 0 0.5 it's going to be 0 0.8 ae minus 0 0.8 eb equal 800 800 and let's say this is equation 2 so if this is equation 2 and we have this equation one here so to to make the to get rid of we have to do elimination method so in order to do that i have to multiply this one by negative eight, eight and divide by mm, multiply by 0 0.8 and divide by 0 0.6 so i can make it equal to 0 0.8 and add it right so if i do that i will get 0 0.8 ae plus 0 0.8 8 eb is equal to 2000 don't forget we multiply this one by equation 1 by 0 0.8 and divide by 0 0.6 so if i add this together these two together i will get 1.6 ae and this one this one cancels and we will end up with thousand so 1.6 ab and we have mm, yeah we will 2000 plus 800 is going to be 2800 then we solve for ae it will become 1750 newton since this is positive we know that our assumption is right and the direction is right therefore it's moving sep uh, apart from each other therefore we know it's compression so since we have ae we can plug it in this equation and find for solve for eb so if you solve for eb you will get eb is equal to 750 positive since this is positive our assumption is right and they are facing each other therefore it's tension so this is my final answer we found each components 
ED, DC, CB, and DC right here, EB right here. Hey, that's it. I hope you guys like this video. See you next time.